What's up guys, uh, Suave here, uh, just bringing you another video. Today I want to talk about healing troops. Um, I'm sure many of you already know about this, uh, but for those of you who don't, I feel like this is important for, you know, for everyone to know, because, you know, we all get wounded troops, you know, we attack tiles, we, you know, we fight for capitals and whatnot here in our server. Uh, so... So let's just get right into it. So obviously when you have wounded troops, uh, you go into the hospital and you can manually pick um, what troops and how many of those troops you want to heal. Uh, for example, here I can decide obviously how many rangers I want to want to heal. Um, however, there is a hidden exponential rise in resource cost uh, for any unit. Um, so to explain, I have some wounded predators here, and I feel like with preds, uh, this is this is a tier tier four infantry, I believe, and this is a good example to show to showcase this uh, this idea because. As you can see, when I queue one predator, it costs 1,000 resources, right? So, as I increase the amount of preds that I want to heal, it goes up by 1k, right? 3k, 4k, 5k. However, there re a point is reached where it exponentially goes up in terms of the cost to heal. A specific batch of of any troop. Um, so, for example, I have 577. Uh, I have 577 wounded predators, and if we do the math, it should be 577k food and parts to heal all of these predators. However, as when you can when you see when I queue all of these preds up. Look how much that cost is. That is not 577,000. It is 1.44 million. So that's an exponential increase of about, you know, eight, eight, nine, nine, nine 900k resources, which is pretty substantial. Um, you don't want to be using so you you don't want to be using res more resources than you need to heal these troops. Um, so as you go up the amount of of soldiers that you queue, there are there are checkpoints, I guess you can say, where where the cost to heal it increases exponentially. So for preds, at 20 preds above 21, the ex the 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 cost to heal each pred goes from 1,000 to 1.5k so here we go 20 to 21 we go from 20k to 31.5k that is a 1.5k increase now so we keep going up keep going up and then you reach 50 right so 70.5k 72k right sorry going from 48 to 40, 49 to 50 right that's a 1.5k increase now when you when we go to 51 we should expect a 76.5k cost however you'll see that when I go up one bread boom look at that shit man what is this what is this come on seven pirates Are you trying to screw me or what so I just wanted, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is definitely a thing <laughs> unfortunately so it is kind of annoying you know having to you know queue up 20 preds queue and then hit hit heal and wait 17 minutes and then you know but it's you know if you want to save the if you want to save the resources it's definitely worth doing now this is just T4 that I'm showcasing here uh, if you if you do this Let's go back in here. If you do this for higher tier units, T5, even T6, the 
the jump is even more it's 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 insane for example let's see here 22k for one rhino it is 22,000 all right I'm gonna bust out the calculator for you guys because I can't do this shit in my head all right here we go oh that's the calendar I don't want the calendar I want I want the calculator all right let's go 22,000 times I have 53 rhino you can see that number here under under his giant horn 53 rhino so 22 times 53 so it should cost 1.166 million to heal all these rhino however when I queue these babies up all of them instead of 1.166 six six it's two point five six so that's an increase in one million one point four million resources I'm not sure where the jump is uh, there I'm sure there are a few jumps um, like there there are different stages where it jumps exponentially so it jumps by 1k 1.5 as you can as you as I showed you with the preds uh, so yeah I just just figured I'd I'd get this out there you know let people know that that it is important to to know to know about this especially when you're healing high tier troops um, I feel like tier 3 and above this, this starts to play to, you know this starts to make an impact tier 2 tier 2 are great tier 2 who gives a shit they are so cheap like you can I can every time okay I've had up to like I don't know what my max capacity is how many spiders I can hold, but I've healed like 2,000 spiders straight, and it was it was dirt cheap. It was it, it's cheap. T2 are great. Fight with T2s in your server, like when you're doing in-server battles, when it, whether it be capital battles, whether it be anything, anything, just use tier two. Um, obviously, I'm not using tier two. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, higher tier wounded. Okay, there, there's a reason for this, but yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Um, so yeah. Um, so I've been healing my Rhino. I want to get these bad boys I've healed up so I can put them back in my Ace of Galaxy team. Um, the jump is after five Rhino, so I just been healing five. It takes 40 minutes, so you know, I'll log back on and then. The next rhino will be ready to be queue, you know, queue up, and I'll heal him, and just go slowly, 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 and and yeah, that's that. So it's just a little healing trick that I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a trick. I say it's a it's a hidden, a hidden mechanic, I guess you can say, that that the developers don't really mention. Um. So just just hope, hopefully this will help help someone out. And help them save some resources, especially if they're healing those high tier units. You know, I understand. You know, I I use high tier units to take out like, you know, high level demon ships, level sixes, you know, level fives, and sometimes things can go wrong. So uh, so yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please share this video to anyone who you may think will benefit off of it. Uh, please feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you all for the support, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be rolling out with a lot of content for you guys. Um, please feel free to comment down below, give me feedback or any ideas you want for videos, and uh, I'll hear you guys out. And uh, yeah, so until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one, and uh, I'll see you next time. Suave out. Peace.